what is up everybody welcome back to another video on the channel here uh you guys love the last one so i am bringing it back and that is killer frequency uh you guys enjoyed the last video so much and i really enjoyed the game and i wanted to make more parts to it so we're back with it again and let's hope that we can be able to save some people this time all oh, right really? Like it's going pretty quickly to me. Oh. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're sure, good. why not? You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Uh, I'll regret this, but okay. We, yeah, we should do that one. I'll regret this, but okay. Question one. Tell me about your family. Oh shit. Right. Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Oh, shit. She hit the, she hit the spot. Oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Mm. Well. That's how we do it. My folks went the same way as yours. Oh. So that's what happened. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Well, that was dad. Mom Damn. didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy huh. Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm Damn. sorry. You got I'm real shut down right there. All seconds. right. Funny oh. you mention that now. No, not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Damn, Peggy'd be going through it. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Uh, Someone needs our help. Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? No. You sure no. You don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Gee, thanks, Peggy. Yeah, you said you're happy ass Buzzers down over there. The door. See you in a bit. Possibly. Hopefully. Okay, hey, so... Down to the first floor, then check the door. First floor. We have, a, we have stairs in here? Key found. Second floor stairway. There's a sec There's a stairway somewhere around here. Is this it? Oh! Oh shit, we have an upstairs and a downstairs. Anything in here? No, not since I left it last time. Uh, okay. Um... Okay, I waited so long for that. All right, we're gonna go up to the roof. Never mind, can't go up to the roof. All right, downstairs. We're gonna, we're gonna actually, no, 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 no. We're, we're gonna leave this door open. In case I need to make a quick run for it. I don't like that. There's something there. Wow, this is pretty cool. I'm still kind of freaked out by what's right there, but I'm still gonna look around real quick. Uh, is there anything in here? I found a maze maze. Adult. Yo. What's that noise? Who's making it? Can I put this like in my back? Oh shit, I threw it. Oh, I dropped it now. Now I switched hands. Oh, now I placed it. Fuck man, how do I how do I pause it in my Safe pile. 
Never mind. Okay, we're gonna check around here, see if there's anything here that we need. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Nice. New music oh. to play. Oh shit, we found a we found new music. Alright. Vertigo? For for Vertigo? I think that's how it is. Dead or died alone. From below it came. Alright. Is this a mini golf course? Needs a key. Oh, uh, of course the staff one needs a key. Yo, I heard I heard rustling around in there. I don't like that. Lock. For now. I, I I get that. Alright, I guess we uh yeah, I don't know, we have a TV to worry about. We gotta we gotta figure about this thing. Never mind, it has nothing to do. A tape. We're not picking that up just yet. Axe final decapitation. I can't drop it. Oh, there we go. An axe. Oh, they're movies. Good job on the new job. Sure. <gasps> Fuck! What? What was that? Oh my god! I actually scared the absolute. What? Was that, bro? I'm literally freaking out right now. Okay, I guess we'll pick up the tape. We've waited long enough. Play on air. Play on air. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. I'll go play it. I swear to God, if it was this fucking door closing on me, this might have been what we heard the first time. Okay, it didn't close. We're gonna listen to it real quick. All right, not bad. How about we get a new tape to be able to play? I don't really, I don't know if we should play this. Wait. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Put it on, I guess. Do, are y'all not, like, scared of what it is? Why would you play it on air? All right. I guess, we'll, I guess we're going to see what it is. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for life. Time to Oh, boy. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. Whoa! I did not enjoy that. Get that what shit the out of here. What was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Oh. Uh. uh. Folks, the. Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how the killer could get from the newspaper to KFAM so quick, but I forgot where we're even at. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Yep. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches back. I know him. You love him. Uh -huh. This is Roddy Snatcher with Roddy his Snatcher. final breath. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. All right. Can I can I run? Wait. Oh. <laughs> the game didn't save. Man, you're pushing it really close to that water. Can I mop this up? Okay. Play me offset. Or offset? <laughs> Play me on air. ASAP. Okay. Like, 
any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We uh, gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably wait. never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank. I don't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Uh, prior and current friendship. Roddy. Wait. Yet. I really hope you and your listeners Wait. like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call... It's playing right now. Wait a minute. What the hell? That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? Wait. I'm... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I will uh, always find you was my song. Wait, but this is Final Breath. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where it's is it? It's playing right now. Oh my god, I was so freaked out by the tape, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I found it down at reception earlier. Barbara had it hidden away. Why was she hiding it? I mean, well... If that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. True that. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Barbara! I'll oh, find them all. Never mind. Just listen to that music. God, Roddy's Man, I was doing something I didn't even know I was and doing. More importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I press this button. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really oh hope it's nothing serious. Me either. When you're ready, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of Forrest Nash. The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy. Oh, yeah. shit. Hello. Murphy, uh, what have you got for us tonight? Murphy's law. Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Three today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. I said it first. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. Killer? You think you're tough, huh? Uh-huh. Big man. <laughs> Come face me, a true warrior at the gallows waste disposal. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Uh. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robert. Oh, Robert shit. Uh oh. Oh, uh, no. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Oh, no, it's going to end badly. I heard that Master Robbie ad earlier. Uh, well, don't get your hopes up too much. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Uh, go to flow. Yeah. Oh. Grab okay. a set. We need to play oh, a commercial. Oh, oh, shit. We need to play a commercial? Oh. Uh. Oh, not that one. Uh. No, that looks like the dojo one. Uh. 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 I'm fibbling. Uh. Eh. Uh, shit, there's one in there. We gotta keep the lights on. Play a commercial. There we go. Hey, get, sit down. 
is back. We got it all out on Cupid oh, Field. Oh god. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen. We're not pageant, even on there. Candy, corn dogs, cornhole, corn on the cob, crokinole, country music, can jam, jams, jellies, jam, can jam, roller Ricky's roller disco lessons, roller Ricky's roller disco Ray. lessons. Oh, pray. We got baby crawling. Oh my God. Balloons for sale. Oh Jesus. Beard contest, horseshoes, hay ride, Beard contest. Hey you there, Satan. Hey you. <laughs> Apple Bob and firearm fireworks. Firearms. Fried dough, sheets, bitten sand, licking cracker, cramming, and catch shop. Cat. A catch up. And big what? tattoo, face paint, and puppet. Oh my God, this man is maze still maze going. Square dance and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and. Wait, maze, maze, and I have a ticket for that. Lawnmower racing, hot dog. Lawnmower racing. I want to go to that. Flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The Gord. is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Hello, yeah. Carl, you're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> oh, shit. Hello? Who is this? <sighs> Hello? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. Oh, shit. He's coming for me? Jesus. How does he know? Listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. Yeah, I've gotten everybody killed. Already? So, you saved them, or? I, I, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Well, you know, we learned a lot. Oh, God. <laughs> She's probably like, oh shit, don't help me. Tell me your name, caller. I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please Yeah, don't we're gonna have to save the entire die. state. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Uh... Can you run out back? No. What if he's outside? Waiting for me? Oh, God. Right, 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 right. Uh... Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away. Of course today. not. Okay. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a fraternity? Friday. Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting oh, wasted. Well. And I'm about to get <laughs> Oh God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's Oh God. I can't think I I can't any idea what the frat might be, Peggy. If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Where is she at? Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Oh my god. Don't worry. I guess don't worry. We'll figure, we'll it, figure out. it out. I can't do this. Uh. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music <laughs> for your own midnight oh, shit. snacks. Now it's time to go with the flow, and this is the flow. Crying for help. Uh, crying for help. I guess what so. places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head, uh, well, there's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa. Grilling Park. Spree, Grilling Spree. Oh, Where's okay. Grilling Spree? Of course, we have Ponty's Pizza. That's it, I think. Okay, so Ponty's Pizza's right here. And the grilling... The grilling something, she said. The grilling spree? Is that what she said? Is that the only grilling spot? I think so. So, grilling spree. So the frat house has got to be like... Because they would want it to be close, wouldn't they? It's like a frat house has got to be like here somewhere. Maybe. I think. Uh All right. We'll call each place and ask who they wait, deliver to tonight. Wait. Was there more? It's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. No Max know, Diner. It's a long story, but what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's uh, no way, is there? I don't know any that's other that place. That That's like a hotel, I think. Okay. Um. 
Well, I guess we better get to it. Time, then. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related, and maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Pat. Of course. All right. God, where to start? Well, Can I pick up the key? Order from somewhere. If I were a partying frat boy, uh, Brad, or uh, I just have to look around. Um. Why is the music so ominous? I don't like that. I'll put that right there. Maybe some of the stuff that I picked up earlier, I might be able to like. Might have actually meant something. I just picked it up too fast. Trunk. Hey, look at all these pictures of these cats. What? Oh, shit. I don't want to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though, Brad. P.S. You owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't click on any of these other ones. All right. I'm in the kitchen now. All right, let's see what we can get up into here. Oh, gee, what the shit? Why did it open up the fridge like that? Oh, fridge, you're kind of blocking my way here. What was I supposed to? What was I supposed to look for? Like some kind of like food or something? Check the offices for anything food related, and maybe the kitchen downstairs. Let's go! Throw your damn garbage away! Another trunk one. That was just the fridge closing. That was not the fridge closing. Fridge isn't even closed. That's something else. I don't like that. So there's a lot of the same, uh, a lot of the same cassette. Oh, seven days? And it's a VHS? Oh, hell no. Nah. Put that thing down. Hell no. Nah. We, we ain't messing with that shit. Oh, look at that. Another VHS tape. High grade vid look at that video cassette. Oh, it's broken, man. Come on. Thank God. Ain't nobody coming out these TVs. Screw that. Out of order. Check back with me tomorrow. Man. Okay, I haven't found anything. Like, nothing's, like, really been, like, said. Like, he hasn't said anything. Megabyte. I'm not too sure, like, what we're supposed to be looking for here. Do I have to check the box? Oh, 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 oh. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallo's High performed. Okay. Well, we found something finally, so that's good. I can't believe I didn't look in the trash. I, I thought about it, like, last second, too. Oh yeah, I got him killed. Hey, find anything useful? Yeah, look at this Monty's pizza. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Sure. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Uh, call, call Ponty's Peas. Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza! May I take All an right. order? Yay! Fratman calling! We're in major need of foods for dudes! Uh, may I take your order? Uh... What do we go with? Garlic bread or slow roast pizza? Oh man, 
I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice. But that will what? take three hours. You sure? Never, Never mind. mind. Give me the garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, Yes. The folks at KFAM are huge. Yes, that helped us out from last time that we were playing. Oh shit. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Uh Stab in the night. Stab in the twilight. That's what I should put on. It's funky, sure. it's groovy, it's stab in the twilight by knife and easy. Bet. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Um... You mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to order, oh, not sure. Ponty. He's not Ponty. <laughs> right, so between grilling spree and chalupa cabras. Chalupa cabras? Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, Where's really Chul Chulapa Cabras? Change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought for oh. us. We've got a call coming in. Uh, shit. Shut up the music. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, 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 this is Fratman Bunker. <laughs> we got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. Plunker, this is an emergency. I nice try. Ah oh, shit. I may be drunk, but I'm no fool. Uh, listen, I need you to Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. Oh I'm man. Not Goose, I uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the uh... Barbarian. What do you think? I don't like what he's saying. <laughs> Great idea. He said to hang up, didn't he? The barbarian says only the radio man can So, play us the, the flow. flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Listen, all right. You've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you. Just say no more. Plunker's moving the house. Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, Forrest, I don't know if that's line two. Hello. You're live on 189.16, the stream. Forrest, it's the killer. Oh shit. Up the door, please. Oh my god, it's it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Oh boy. He has arrived. Oh, thank God. He's gone and. I saved her. Oh, is that you, Radio Man? Don't worry. We brought the beer. Good times are here. Oh, yes. We saved her finally. Let's go. We saved her. You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes, some wear sheets as togas. Let's go! Hey, Forrest, did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you uh -oh. know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. 
Oh. Seems we may have Somebody order a savior. Any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right, I guess we're shutting the music off because we have another Hello, caller. Bro. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer oh, my horrifying. The of our fair town? Oh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you? Yes, it on? is. You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm oh, my God. Small business owner. Small business. It's a safe, family friendly place. There's small business on here? Uh, uh, what small business oh, do you own? One? What small business do you own? Oh, well, or own? I'm yeah, not really on. big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! I knew it! Dude, Ponte's I was thinking about this in my head. I was like, is this Ponty's? I guess we can't be that mad at him. I'm not mad at all. I'm laughing my ass off. Peggy, that sort of thing just uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. Oh my I'll god. Have somebody else on the line. Just take oh, a deep Jesus breath Christ. and let's keep no, going. No, another freaking call. Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16 The Scream. And tonight's 911. I'm always keep saying The Scream. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, our caller. Ah, uh, Eugene. What have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and Eugene Stein. I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze, maze, listening maze, maze. to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. Maze, a maze. Lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Where's um, Maze, maze? Where is Maze Maze? Into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I can't find it. The perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening, uh... do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Yo, kid, I got I got absolutely no riz. Ask the boys. I got no riz. But uh, well, I was gonna see if there was gonna be an option to uh to to just call her, but I'd say just go home, bro. You really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead. Oh, actually, <laughs> but, uh... son of a bitch! Jeez. Oh, yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I, uh, think I don't think it's Molly. It'll take a little while to get here. A middle. Uh, thanks again, Forrest. Good talk. That. Oh, shit. Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Oh, kid. Uh. Uh, Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carl, I'm about to die a virgin. Listen, oh shit! I I know, I know, I know, bro. I know. Call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I. I'll do it for Molly. But please hurry. Well, listeners. Uh, shit. Peggy Where's Maze Maze? Here's a track for all you lovers out there. Uh. Vice. This is I'm coming to get you by Vice. Oh shit! <laughs> Why are all these so bad? How the hell am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know, I don't know. Receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. I know. I found the ticket. Uh. Maybe we should call Barbara. 
she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. Oh my and god. She probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. I already know where it's at. I know where it's uh, at, Peggy. Which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Why does it sound like uh, coming from here? Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. Oh. <laughs> She's the receptionist. Since That's why. Reception never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ooh, Brad. Brad. Yeah, sorry, I guess it's just the stress. Of no excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Jeez. Uh, oh, wait. Brad broke her heart. Wonder what she'd have done with all that maze maze stuff. Oh. Wait, so is this it? Is this like the only thing? It, like, I, I, I don't know if it's like the only thing like out here. I'm just kind of picking up stuff and if it makes a noise, then obviously I have something, but... Yeah, Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Oh! Oh, it's also the map! So, that's two things. Uh... Maybe we'll pick this up and pick this up, because we can carry two things. I think that's it, because I went around the entire the entire room. Okay. Maybe we're good. Any luck? For Eugene? Yes. For Barbara? No. Brad canceled the date. So Barbara left her tickets and a map for the maze maze behind. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Barbara can do better than never mind. Let's save the kid. Eugene called while you were away. He's oh, on shit. line one. Time to turn the music off. You're right. Welcome back to 189.16 The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I I don't know where I am. Okay. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Not a four way stop. Golden hay bales to his right. So he's right here. We need to get him out. So, where is the out? He's at a crossroads facing a tractor statue, gold hay bales to his right. And we need to get him out. How do we get him out? Where is the out on this map? I don't I don't see it. Oh, oh, it's up it's up here. It's up here. Man, I'm so blind. Okay. So he's facing towards 1, which means he needs to go left because if he goes left, he'll go up here. Uh Wait, maybe not. We'll go with left. Go left. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left. Then tried a right. Yep. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. Uh Okay, so wait, he's on he's on. Oh no, I got him the wrong way. No, I didn't. I can save it. Okay. So, he has a pig statue in front of him. Pig statue is number three. So he's, so he's kind of right here. And a rocking horse on his left.
Uh... So... He needs to go backwards, right? Goes backwards, go yeah. Backwards. Oh no, put that right there. Yeah, you're pretty dumb for that. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? It's at a crossroads. Go left. Yeah, go left. Go left. Okay, kid, we'll get to that in just a minute. Don't a tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my sides. So he needs to go right. Go right. Okay, it goes it goes up here. Well, Where do I go? he just passed a corn silo and didn't see anything else on the way. So he's right here. Go right. Go right. Right. Guys. Guys. Oh my god, we did it. Holy shit. And my bike's still here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Forrest. Oh, thank god. I love you, Molly. We that did it. Tense. Holy shit. I think I held my breath the whole time. I think it went pretty You well. think? I think I had my eyes like in the screen. Right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Yep. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. <laughs> up for us, so take report it away. a Clive to stay alive? What? Oh, we have another one? Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Uh. Uh. Thank you. I don't know about wonderful, but uh, thanks. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play oh, my tune, Forrest? Your tune, sure. Long your tune. Ride home. That old song, sure. You got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're going to find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. You got to be kidding me. I threw it away. You, you threw, it, the threw it away? I, I threw it out the window earlier today. Uh, why? Uh, why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Hmm. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. I understand. <laughs> For shame, Peggy, no. Uh, sorry, sorry about Brad. Brad. Oh my god. Thanks, Forrest. We're on air, bro. Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Uh, Storm Riders. 
Yes, introduce it. Take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. The Glam Jam. Of uh, all the songs oh. to request. Why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn Why are you so ever do to you? Broken up about that it. song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Oh shit, another caller? I was trying to figure out how to use movements again. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16 The, the Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Murphy. Forrest. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy. Uh, Mr. Dote. Er, hey, hello again. But, uh, what brings you back? Oh, the killer got me, man. Oh, shit. I, uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? <laughs> I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. We need to get an amulet up there. He was everywhere else earlier tonight. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. I got a flashlight. But... Oh, oh god damn. I smell smoke. You smell smoke? I think he started a fire. Oh, oh shit. Call for help right now. You got a hurry, man. I need someone here now or I'm gonna die. Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just Okay, he's where? Is he at West Gallows Cemetery or cemetery? This disposal plant. Gallows waste okay. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? Are you kidding me? He Oh god damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town. Son of a bitch fire engine. They can't do anything. The only fire engine? But Why do you guys only have one? Live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero. So Haddonfield? What? Lives on the west Wait. Of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho. Myers Lane? Myers Lane. But he's old. Really old. Okay. Wait. Check the map. See who would be best. To Myers Lane. Carpenter Avenue and Haddonfield. Maybe there's something to do with Wheeland Road. Ah, uh, yeah, that actually does sound familiar. Wait. Wait, Peely Street. Or, maybe I'm saying that wrong. Oh my god, did I not realize? That's Bond Street. Like, James Bond, Blake Avenue, King Avenue, Nancy Drive. That's gonna be, uh, Nancy Wheeler. Or, uh, uh that's Craven Street, West Craven. Wow, I did not realize any of these. Axe Down Lane. What the hell? Jackson Street. Jones Road. Yo, I don't know how I didn't notice any of these when we were when I was playing this. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. I like the Myers. I like that he's got three in here. I like that. Okay, sorry. I, I was having a a big moment here. What are we doing now? Uh. All right, Forrest. Who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Oh, wait, shit. Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He just sorry. <laughs> Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Okay, okay, sorry, I forgot. Can I put this, like, somewhere else? Like, right here? Thank you. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, they're right here, they're right here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero Street. Like, George Romero? Okay, so right here. He lives right here. Catherine lives at the west end of Myers Lane, which is right here, west end. Old Man Jericho lives at the east end of Myers Lane, so he lives right here next to Carpenter Avenue. 
And then fire department. Get more fire engines. Okay. Well, we don't have to worry about them. Okay. So who should go? But didn't she say old man Jericho was, uh... All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? <sighs> she lives down here, but see, residents will, will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Un unable to access the connecting road between... Okay, so I can't go on this one. Wait. Oh. No, she's right here. So which means old man Jericho needs to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jericho. Call Jericho. All right. Give me a second. All right. Scream. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, okay. Oh uh, shit. Wait, where are we going? Forrest, I'm getting a call. All right. Are you sure you can't? What's happening, Peggy? Uh, old man Jericho wasn't fast enough. Wait, no. Why I even mentioned him? But I did. The plant burned down. It collapsed. So Murphy is... Oh, and shit. Be crushed. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, no what? Anyone, what? Terrible way to go. Yeah. Man, I, I should have listened better. I... I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy. It's going to be our forest. We have another caller. Let's not waste time. Oh, shit. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Thank you, everybody, today for joining me on this very special video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. Make sure also turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss another upload. Uh, I'm enjoying this game so far. We at least saved a couple people. Uh, so hopefully we better save more in the next one if, if you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down in the comments below, and I will see you guys all later. Bye guys!